Welcome back to Race to Win, the sailing podcast. I'm Julia Berg, a Seattle sailor currently podcasting from Guam, USA. Here at Race Cues, we have recently updated some of the wind features in our 3D replays. To help explain how it all works, I'm going to use this popular race slash cruise called the Bavaria Cup. The Bavaria Cup format is a unique regatta format that's been spreading throughout Europe over the last couple of years. The concept of the Bavaria Cup is you have a one design fleet that races during the day and then stops in a marina and sleeps on the boat at night. It's basically a very civilized distance race. There are many of these uh, regattas throughout Europe, but the Bavaria Cup takes place in Croatia, which is they call the country of hundreds of islands. Uh, It is the ocean, but it feels more like a bay because it's protected by all these islands and the warm Adriatic Sea. They typically see winds from about 10 to 20 knots every day. And this regatta is sailed again as a multi-day, one design regatta with two divisions. One division has about 20 Bavaria 40s, and the other one has about 20 Benetau First 35s, each with about eight crew members. One of the neat things about this format is that because you have eight people on a boat, it's a very affordable vacation. Uh, Race Cues has sent teams to this three years in a row, and we estimate the cost to be just under $1,000 for each crew member, which includes food, lodging, race fees, and the event dinners at night. So from a vacation standpoint, it's a pretty good deal. Now, you might be wondering what kind of people show up to these things. The fleets are really competitive. There are usually several professional teams and a lot of good sailors. And this every day, the entire flotilla races between marinas in just this incredibly scenic Adriatic Sea setting. However, there are lots of different levels of sailors, and there's room for anyone to go and improve. Now, one that's coming up is the Three Countries Regatta. It's the same kind of format, but they're racing from Slovenia to Venice. And as of this publication, it looks like they still do have some room left. And for 1,100 euros, they will put you on a boat with a pro. If you want a list of more races, go ahead and send me an email. It's julia.berg at racecues.com. And I'd be happy to send you a list of some more. And one thing we're really curious about at Race Cues is if you know of any one design chartered regattas outside of Europe. Are there other places that are doing this? Not handicap races. Uh, we're just interested in one design. So if you know of anything, again, please send me an email and I'll put my email address again at the end of the podcast. Okay, so here's the start of the one of the Bavaria Cup races on day three. You can see we have the wind right here. It's these little floating arrows. And above it is the direction. The initial direction before the race is set as 70 degrees. Now, Race Cues determines that using meteorological data, historical data from that day, which depending on the source and where you're sailing may or may not be that accurate. If you need to adjust it, it's really simple. We have this new wind button on the dashboard here. Just click on it and you can adjust the initial wind direction here. One of the ways you can tell if you weren't sure is generally the wind should be pretty square to the starting line, right? <laughs> so we'll leave that at 70 degrees. You can also toggle those wind arrows on and off if you don't want to see them. So the racing begins and Race Hughes has a proprietary algorithm that is able to figure out the average wind direction for the race course. And this is pretty tricky. Uh, we're the only that we know of replay engine that's trying to do this to estimate it. And the thing is, we're pretty good at it because look at all the data that we have. We have all these boats and the assumption that we make is that the boats are trying to race. They're, they're trying to get upwind at some point in this regatta. So we can analyze the tacking patterns and tell where the wind is coming from for each boat in the fleet. So what you're seeing here is an average wind direction for the race course. Obviously, there is no true wind direction, even for one boat. It's going to be different at the top of the mast than it is at the bottom of the mast, different on the left side of the course, different on the right side of the course. But this is the average that we see as calculated across all these boats. So the more boats that are recording, the more accurate this wind direction is going to be. So you can see we're starting to see a slight right shift here, um, 81, 82. 
And as the race goes on, so as the boats are going, we start to see a wind shift. And as the wind shifts, the ley lines to the mark will actually move in the replay. And you can see how that's going to affect the different position of different boats in the fleet. You can see them swinging back and forth right here. Now, things get a little bit tricky if the boats sail for a long ways downwind. The wind predictions can get a little bit inaccurate because remember, we are assuming that you're always trying to sail as close to the wind as possible. So on a distance race, if there's a long reaching leg, the wind angle can get a little bit off. And if that happens, it's really easy to fix it. You can see this was really a long reaching leg. So maybe if I notice things don't look quite like they should, I can just click on the arrow and manually adjust everything here. Easy peasy. I hope that helps you uh, understand how the wind works a little bit better. It's really a great tool to help you evaluate kind of what was going on with your racing, especially in relation to working those shifts and understanding what might have been a better position for your boat at different places in the course. Happy sailing and I'll see you on the water. If you enjoyed this podcast, you can find more on our website, www.racehues.com slash podcast.